we going? We're going. What's up? Jake Reed here. Well, it's that time of year again. It's almost Halloween. Unless, of course, you're watching this in July, in which case it's not. But nonetheless, I'm filming this in October, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to talk about getting spooky sounds. Whoa. What was that? Boo bam, does this freak you out? So anyway, if you know me, you know I like going after different sounds and uh, getting different sound effects. You don't just have to use these sounds for like horror movies and other like suspenseful moments in TV shows and things like that. You can, you can use this stuff all over the place. They're just sounds. In the spirit of trick or treat, I thought it would be fun to do a sample pack. So I did. It's called Supernatural Drums. Here's a link. Tons of one shots, four different kits, tons of loops, shaker loops, stick loops, rim loops, cymbal bows, screeches, scrapes, cymbal swells, water phone in there, muted tom grooves in there too that are different from the super dead drums because these are more like uh, swingy, swampy sort of like with mallets just you know that kind of thing so there you go all right so first things first got a bow here i just got this on amazon they're not that crazy expensive this is a bass bow you could also use like a violin bow they all work fine gotta rosin up the bows everybody Cool, and then here's a little trick that my friend and amazing percussionist Brian Kilgore showed me. You can get different harmonics out of the cymbal, which is pretty rad. Like I was just kind of holding in the middle to keep things stable, but you know, if you just put your finger. Cool, now let's go even closer to the edge. Amazing. Another cool thing you can do is get one of these super balls. It's like a bouncy ball on a stick and drag it across the cymbal. Sounds pretty awesome. Here's what it sounds like. Every jazz drummer's favorite thing to do to make spooky sound effects on cymbals. Just the old stick on cymbal screech. It's all about just getting the right amount of pressure on the stick, getting it right in the groove of the cymbal. So cool, let's do it again. I also did a ton of cymbal swells for the sample pack. You can use timpani mallets, that's what, I mean, if it's good enough for Elvin Jones, you know what I'm saying? Okay. First, the key with cymbal swells is not to roll too fast, so it sounds all, you know, beatery. 
Get it nice and smooth. Probably the spookiest of all percussion instruments, the waterphone. And this is a real waterphone. It's actually made by the inventor himself, Richard Waters. No relation to Roger Waters, I don't think, as far as I know. You can bow it, which sounds really cool. I just do it like this. There's, there's actually water in here for the folks at home. I mean, it doesn't come with water. I put water in it. So you should kind of shake it around and it bends the pitch. All right, so the most obvious way is just to take those cymbal screeches and bows and just add tons of reverb. Here's what it sounds like. Pretty awesome. Let me take the EQ down here. All the low end. Another cool way to get spooky sounds. Get some shells, hooks, pods, gourds. These things, I just found these on the ground. Found this on the ground a long time ago. Just, I don't know what that is. Some sort of seed pod. Got these gourds from a uh, drum shop. Sup? So a lot of times I'll just take these sort of uh, shells, layer it underneath a drum beat. It's pretty awesome. Crunchy. Sometimes you can just kind of make stuff stir. This pod thing. Just rattles, man. Got this cool gourd shaker. Double up. You've heard of plastic egg shakers. How about a wooden one? And of course, tiny little maracas. These are just a bunch of bottle caps that I uh, tied up on some strings. That can be cool on back beats and stuff too. Corks. Of course, another classic thing I love to do all the time, take this whammy pedal, octave down, put it through this mic here. That's great. That's Straight up, hitting a crash through the octave pedal. Get out the big bass drum, simply hitting the rims. Instant evil. Another fun thing to do, take some chamois. Put 
and boom, instant spooky vibes. So another cool thing to do is just to take a beat or a loop or something, like this big kit loop, and put some shells on the back beats for some texture. Or you can take some rims. I just put like a low pass filter on them. Sounds really rad on this other quirky kit beat. This is the uh, symbols on drums. It's super dark. Sick. You get the idea. Pretty fun stuff.